solving variations with repetition and without repetition hi i am m asif hussain from nohav academy what are we going to learn from this video we are going to see what is meant by variation what is the formula for finding out the variation with repetition we are going to see some examples of this formula with repetition we are going to see what are the formula or what is the formula to find out the variations without repetition with some examples in our previous videos of data science we have seen what are permutations we have seen some examples of permutations which comes under the probability now let me talk to you something about variations what exactly is the meaning of variation so what are variations variation is nothing but the total number of ways we can pick and arrange a given set it's as simple as such let us not think too uh, uh, widely about it variation it's a variation what does it mean it means that the number of ways how we pick and arrange the given set the given set now let me give you some real time example we all know that there are some locker systems in, in the bank right we have some lockers in the bank any bank you go we have some lockers why do the lockers exist in the bank for example i am not sure that my money gold jewelry whatever we have it is not safe in the home so that's why what i do i keep all these things in a locker in a bank so the system of the locker is that there will be two keys in order to open one particular locker so now let us understand what is the probability for example there are two keys for one locker okay so now for example by mistake that what we usually do okay we don't keep a uh, single key anywhere right what we do we keep this key with our uh, bike key with our car key we attach this one with our home key you know we do the, this kind of things generally so what happens is that let us think that similar size and similar shape of those that particular locker key you have some uh, three sets okay so some you have three different keys now you are getting confused which key i have to use it so now what happens a b c if i consider a key if you try to do it then you have the options of b and c and b if you try it you have an option of a and c and c if you try it you have an option of a and b right so these are the different possible ways that we have so what's happening here here the variation what you are doing you are trying to repeat it n number of times in order to get the proper result out of it am i right so if i try to explain it to you here okay you have uh, one locker okay and in this locker you have three different keys key 1 key 2 key 3 for this particular one if you try it one then you have the possibilities of two and you have the possibilities of three and if you are trying two then you have the next possibility of one and next possibility of three if you are trying three then you have the next possibility of one and the next possibility of two right so the variations are occurring it's repeating the repetition is happening to one particular locker am i right so now the formula here to calculate the variation okay let me let me, let me write it the formula here to calculate to calculate the variation this is very much important that we have to understand so the formula here to calculate the variation is that v bar power n to the k so now what's happening here what exactly it is let me tell you it will define to the n to the power of k n to the power of k so now the point here is that what is n you might get confused what is n n here is nothing but so the total number of elements that we have so what is k so now i am using k here many people they use it p a x y it depends upon them so the k here is the number of positions to fill so there are how many 1 2 3 okay the number of positions to fill in that particular element okay this is n and this is k now if i want to talk to you let me give you some basic example let me give you some very easy example so that you can clearly understand this variations formula so here when i am talking about the variations i am choosing two one is n and one is k so now the point is let us consider n equal to 3 and k equal to 
so what is the formula v bar to the n and k so here what is it n to the power of k so what is n here n is 3 to the power of 2 so what is 3 square it is 9 so nine number of times nine different variations that we have nine different variations for this particular example all right so when i'm talking about those variations with repetition now let us consider that there is no repetition at all the formula to find out the variation without any repetition is v n to p equal to n bar n bar divided by n minus p bar okay do p factorial n factorial divided by n minus p factorial don't get confused if you are getting confused let me go back and uh, uh, if you are getting confused with this uh, p let me take k itself which i have taken it here okay so i'll take k here okay k equal to n factorial divided by n minus k factorial is a formula to find out the variations without any repetition without any repetition so now what i will do here mm -hmm. let me consider n equal to 5 and let me consider k equal to 4 so now what's happening here 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 4 factorial so what's happening here 5 factorial divided by 1 factorial so what is 5 factorial divided by 1 factorial 1 2 3 4 5 is 5 right 1 factorial it's 1 now the answer for this one will be 120 okay so the formula to find out the variations without any repetition is n factorial divided by n minus k factorial and the formula to find out the variation with repetition is n to the power of k so this we have to consider now my dear viewers the reason that i am telling you this variations with uh, repetition and without repetition the reason is that when we are working on a projects in a real time in a data science we might encounter many such situations that the values or the sales or anything might be repeated so if you want to find out for example if i take uh, if if i take something called as uh, uh, burgers so if i take something called as pizza so one pizza is delivered how many times one pizza is rejected how many times how many home deliveries successful completed how many home deliveries came back or got rejected so there are such situations that we encounter in a real time and we face some problems in it so in order to solve those we use these formulas in the real time projects that we are working in a data science so please practice this formulas with many examples that you we have with variations and without uh, with repetitions and without repetitions how to calculate the variations in data science thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning